Hello, this is a tutorial about MRF analysis. I will show you step by step how to perform the MRF analysis in Midas in FX. So first let's create a new project. So it's 3D in meta unit and let's import a CAD model. So here I have this model MRF in Parasolid. So I got the model imported. Next step I'll do is to make um, to change the display of this model so you see only the line so it's a bit better for the visualization now let's hide all the guiders and uh, I'll show you how to prepare the model for uh, meshing first but before we do all that let's create the materials and the property so go in the material tab and create a new fluid uh, and I just choose fresh water into the DB now let's create the properties and here I have to create two different properties one to account for the water and one to account for uh, the rotating zone of the MRF so first of all this uh, okay so this will be uh, the water zone so let's call it water apply and let's create a second property so let's call it MRF area and here we'll activate the option moving reference frame and we have to define uh, the rotation axis so here the origin is 0 0 0 and the direction is Z axis the angular velocity is 250 rpm so basically it's done click on OK and I have my two properties now uh, next step is to uh, the next step is to uh, mesh this model but before that uh, I want to be sure that the two geometrical parts uh, have a common interface this is very important because the nodes from uh, the two zones will be linked and merged together so to be sure that the interface here is common I will go into the geometry and I will check the duplicates and apply and now if you see uh, this uh, area in this color it means that these uh, surfaces are common between the two cat parts so it means it's okay basically if you don't see that then you'll have to use auto connect for example to connect the different parts together so now that I have that, uh, let's use the size control to control the meshing on different parts of this. So first of all select the edges uh, around this part and the size should be uh, 4 mm. Apply. And let's, let's select now uh, the buffers so like that the four buffers and we'll use uh, linear grading lens as the type of uh, seeding so the start 0 0.004 to 0 0.012 with a symmetric seeding and I can preview what it gives so it's basically like that so I okay now I inserted the seed so it's useful because you see it's uh, s the mesh will be smaller on the edges so this is what we want now um, that I've done that the next step is let's let's uh, hide the, the geometry of the old side to concentrate on uh, this part so here actually I didn't want to put uh, some mesh some size control here so what I'll do is that I edit the size control and, and select those edges okay as well okay this one is okay okay uh, and 
let's mesh all that. So 3D mesh, auto solid, and let's mesh first the MRF area with the property MRF area. Now go in the advanced option and uncheck the high order element and uh, the mesh size should be 8 mm. Now that I've meshed that, I'll activate the old side mesh. So now let's change the display again. So OK. And let's, let's mesh that with a mesh size of sorry, 12 mm. And let's match the adjacent, adjacent faces. So this is very important. It's to match the mesh size on the, uh, in the intersection area. The property is water. And here, very important, merge the nodes together. Click on OK. Apply to get your machine. And here basically what you have to do is to apply the boundary CFD boundary conditions. So let's hide the mesh and let's uh, apply the boundary condition. So the first is wall condition around the rotating part so select a wall, select this uh, rotating part and the type of wall is dimensionless wall and here we'll have to create uh, to assign some kind of rotation so I'll use the motion uh, manager and this should be rotating frame type of uh, motion so here the uh, sorry the origin should stay 0 uh, 0 0 direction should be the same in Z with the angular velocity of 250 rpm okay and and just apply Okay, so now I send the wall around this part. Now let's around the walls around this. So let's select first the baffles and so I will assign a different condition on the top. So here I have the condition dimensionless wall without motion control. and finally on the top of the box the wall will be inviscid. Now I've defined everything about my model so I can create a steady state CFD analysis case and going to analysis control the number of step I'll put it to 2000 step with interval of 1 to 20 steps and the turbulence model I will use the two equation KE which is OK and now in order to uh, monitor what will happen during the during the analysis I will use the monitoring option so let's first Let's first show only okay, this and let's create result uh, monitoring on one of the points here called total velocity. Okay, and one other as well on the top of the box. So I'll monitor also the velocity. So it's very useful to see if the analysis uh, will converge. So basically the only thing you have to do now is uh, to solve this. So 
so you have to wait of course that the analysis finishes but the great thing is that at any steps you can uh, monitor like that the velocity at the two nodes so you see when the velocity becomes uh, steady So after you run the analysis, you should uh, get some result like that. So here I didn't uh, compute everything, so I stop at 5.5 seconds. Um, but you should go further than that. And if I use for example the clipping plane, so this is the result you get for uh, the velocity. for the MRF. So it's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.